Hello and welcome to Camera Repair Center. Today I'm going to show you how you can watch the Tapo camera on your PCs. Because as soon as you know, the Tapo is only supported the mobile phone that you need to download the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. So um, it's easy to do that. It's a little bit need to be set up and I'm going to show you today step by step what you have to do and what for program you need to download to able to watch on your PC. So firstly, what you have to download is iSpy software. What you need to do, go to, let me close that one. Go to your Google and search for iSpy, I-S-P-Y. And you will get the link iSpyConnect.com. Click in that link and go to a download section. And you want to download the iSpy for Windows. Depends on your operating system. You got 32 bit or 64 bit. My one is 64. So I'm going to download that. You don't want any of them. You want a 132 for Win iSpy Windows 32 or 64. So see, download that one. And I have downloaded it already. And when you download it, go to the folder where it is to download to. And you can see here I have this cracked already. So what you want to click, you want to click the ISY setup. When it's process the setup, it asks you if you want access to your local network, press yes. And then you download it. You want to go to your phone and open. One second. So you want to go to your phone and open the Tapo app. This one there. When you open it, you want to go, there you can see I have a few cameras here. And you want to go to the camera that you want to watch on your PC. Every single camera you need to set up and create an account for it, okay? So I'm going um, to the, what I say, I'm going to the K1. Doesn't matter, I'm going to, uh, we say floor. So this is the inside the shop and I want to create it account to able to watch on my PC. And the top there, you got like a gear, you click in that one, scroll down and you want to click on the advanced settings. You go to the advanced setting and the top there is the camera account. You go in there and give the information and click in the create it now agree and it's asking you for your username you need to create a username it doesn't no matter what for username you want to put in that doesn't matter what for password just so you need to remember it so we go to the username i'm going to put it in the okay and the other thing what i say if you are put a capital k your username into iSpy, you need to put capital and just to be sure you are put capital and low cases exact same what the username say it is. So I'm going to put K1, K1 repair. All right, that is the K1 repair username and the password ask. I put here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That you can see it just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and click in the create account. So when you have create account, you go back and go back and you scroll on the top and stay here floor amount well limited. You go to the device info. And when you go to device info, you got the IP address. This is the what you need to remember. Of course, your username, password, and the IP address. So let me to move that one away. So now we are going to open the iSpy program. So when you open it, it's come welcome windows. You can click it. You don't want to show it again to next start. When you open that iSpy program, you go here and stay at, click the add, and you want to add the camera on VIF camera, you click in that one. So it's now asking for the username. The username what we created in the Tapo app. It was K1 
repair and the password is what one two three four five six seven eight nine and the camera ip address that is was in the device info my one is was two zero nine and uh, two zero nine that one here so now what you want to do now you press the next so now it's give you two option one is the 1920 1080p or 640 times exactly it's up to you which one you want to go for it for the quality and it is i'm leaving it like that and press ok now it's come this window and it say if you want to name the camera what you want to call it whatever you can change it the name of the camera the group you can create a group or whatever i'll leave it like that always and press the finish and you can see here we got the camera and our PC. I'm going to put the other camera in there, the 360 camera that is moving around, dome camera. Let me to go bring my back here. So I'm going back and go back, back and going the to go for that one outside the camera because they can move that one. Here, pan and till. I'll just show you if I go right, you can see I can move the camera so and you can use this function with the eye spy as well. Again, you press the gear in the top right corner, you go scroll down to advanced settings and camera account. I have created accounts already. Honestly, you can say, see here, username is camera. Okay, one camera and password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You go back, 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 and you go top there. You go to the device info. You go and remember the IP address. So, IP address. And if you want to add the other camera, you go add. Go to the on with uh go here k1 camera pass one two three four five six seven eight nine and the 69 so the ip address was ending with 69 press next okay it's no media in case okay uh, it's mean i have done something not correctly let's go back there again let the bring it that one back and have a look what we have done at mistake so ip address is correct we go back here we go to the advanced settings and the credit account account information okay you can see here is this the capital k and the other one i have put it small k so what i'm going to do now change that one to the capital and press the next and you can see to find the camera um, press the ok leave it like that how it is or you can change it what you want to change and finish it now you can see here the camera show me there i click highlight the camera and with my arrow and my keyboard i can move the camera which way i want to go for so i hope this video helped and um, this actually is handy is it if in case you got like as the business retail and you want to have a use the camera to monitor your shops in the back office whatever and this is the how you can create it the type of camera that you can use in your pc so if you have question if you need help drop me comment i'll try my best to help you and uh, hopefully see you in the next video thank you for watching keep safe k1 repair center